Welcome back, good viewer. This is the Skyrider. Before I begin, good viewer, uh, I would offer you uh, once again my sincerest apologies. Um, through a combination of real life stuff, uh, auditions, rehearsals, uh, and this, all this various stuff, and just trying to sort things out uh, from an equipment point of view, I just uh, haven't uh, been able to upload recently. I apologize profusely for this. Um, I, I know I've, I've been doing this a lot recently, I've been saying I should upload more often, and I should. Uh, there is no excuse for it. Um, you know, it, I believe it is my duty to provide you all with regular content, which I have not been doing recently, so I apologize for that. I will attempt as best I can to correct this uh, mistake. Uh, I know I, for one, hate it when people say uh, that they should that they upload frequently, and they, they don't. Um, but uh, I'm still young as a as a YouTuber, I feel, so uh, hopefully this discipline will get better over time. Once again, my apologies for that. I assure you I am sincere in my uh, efforts to correct this. Anyway, uh, to start this off, good viewer, we'll begin with a bit of light reading. Uh, this book here, it's a very interesting book. Uh, I don't have time to read it all, but it's, uh, it's on secret passages. I'm told, uh, and, you know, hidden doors and uh, this sort of thing. It's all really rather fascinating. And you know what, good viewer, the interesting thing is, is that this book is in itself the entrance, or the lever, to get one into a secret passage. Brilliant, really. Oops, <laughs> leaning. And we can see here that uh, we have some extra stuff. Water arrow, a goblet. And this will make any fence crack a smile. The jeweled reading glasses, good viewer. That's what we came in here to get. However, before we uh, head out of here, <laughs> I like closing the doors and sealing the doors on hidden passages. Sometimes, good viewer, uh, because it doesn't actually make a difference, but you know, it gives the impression that uh, the uh, the majors never knew I was here, so to speak. Now to show off this room, good viewer. Shall be your undoing, poor Garrett. Earth. Betray Betrayal will force you to see Garrett. Air. Deception, Deception is your power, Garrett. Fire. Do not let fear control your path, Garrett. And water. Just a nice little thing here. Doesn't actually really do anything, but you know, it's an interesting little thing that they added. Anyway, onwards to the next uh, thing that we're going to do, which is... What is the next thing we're going to do? That's the next thing we're going to do. Excellent, okay going through our cleared out room here. What do we need to find? We need to find the staircase of doom. That's what we need to find, good viewer. And this is not the staircase of doom. Where is the staircase of doom? This is the question that I ask myself every hour of every day, good viewer. Where is the staircase of doom? Do, 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 do. Ah, this way to the staircase of doom, I believe. Yes. Here we go. Staircase of ominous doom. Or spooky ominousness. Whatever I called it last time. Yeah, you can hear the spooky noises. Ooh. Ooh. Stop it, Skyrider. You're being silly again. Okay. And. Okay. Let's get out of water and start putting some torches out. These guards here. Or rather easy to knock out. Take out those two torches, you've got a nice long stretch of darkness and a nice wide corridor. Down you go, mate. And we'll just dump the bodies by the side here. Now, multiple guards here, so we'll just wait for them. Patience is the virtue of the good thief, good viewer. Which I always liked. No, that was that door. 
that's, that's one thing I've always loved about this game. You know, you can't... You, well, you know, it, in the lower difficulties, in some cases, you sort of can, but, you know, philosophically speaking, and on terms of the... Uh, in terms of the harder difficulty levels, you can't just rush in and, you know, kill everything in this game. Which is what I just absolutely love about it. You've got to use stealth. There we go. I know that, um, Yahtzee, uh, zero punctuation. What is it with the heads? Good viewer. The heads of the guards, whenever you drop them, they always seem to do something funny. I wonder if this one will do it. Yeah, typical fell at the wrong angle, so I didn't say. But, uh, maybe I'm just going crazy. Uh, but, uh, just something I've seen. Oh, well, anyway, it's a minor complaint. But, um, ugh, tile. Is there anybody in here? Ah, hello, madam. Uh, well, actually, it won't matter because she'll be knocked out by the time that we <coughs> she sees us anyway. What? Ah, didn't pickpocket. Pickpocketer. Oh well. There we go. And over there. Yes. Yup. See there. Did it again. Oh well. More money and more money. Excellent. Um. Yes. Yahtzee. Uh. The famous. Uh. Chap. Who I'm sure you will. Many of you will know. Uh. On the Escapist. Who does the series Zero Punctuation? If you don't know him, good you, I thoroughly recommend him. He's a. Uh, yeah, let's use a moss arrow here. In case I can hear someone snoring. Take that, and we'll just slip out. Leave another here. Sleep tight, Dave. Um, yeah, you can't see the. Um, The British reviewer who lives in Australia, who has a very... Ooh, that's a sword, yeah. Definitely a good idea to use a moss arrow there. Um, who's a... you know, his, he's known for being very unforgiving and sarcastic and cynical and uh, jaded and all those other things, but, you know, he's just got a brilliant style. And if you don't know him yet, good viewer, I would thoroughly recommend you check him out. Uh, zero punctuation, that's the series. Um, but yes, he once described the Thief series as the only series to have ever done Thief well. <laughs> the only series to ever... Thief is the only series to ever have done Thief well. Yay, well done, Skyrider. Um, Thief is the only series to have ever done Stealth well. Um, don't... No, you know, I don't think I've played enough Stealth games, really, to... Um, to know exactly if I agree with him, but I would say it's a fair comment, personally, because Thief does do stealth incredibly well, and the way it's designed is just very, very good, because some stealth games you fi I find are very difficult, and that there's a, always a prescribed way of doing things. Mind you, one could argue that there's a prescribed way of doing things in certain Thief bits, but uh, there we go. Whoops. There we go. Now, good viewer. This is no ordinary guard who I'll be giving just some random name to. Oh no, good viewer. This is Captain Regalio. And we know what that means. It means... There we go. Uh, it means diamond, but it also means this. The Medallion of St. Burrington. Looks like Captain Regalio's been holding out on the mages. Good thing he can't hold out on me. Excellent. The water arrow on that shelf gives you, but we have plenty of those, and I don't want to risk waking the good captain. So we'll leave that there. Instead, we'll just be a bastard by sneaking into his room and reading his diary. <laughs> ah, I love being a thief. Recovering the Golden Medallion of St. Burrington will reward all the sweat I put into the endless hunt for those damned talismans. By selling it, I will surely make some profit off of this ordeal. In all my years of service to the Hand, I have never seen their efforts so thoroughly stymied. It's almost as though one of their own had taken and hidden the talisman so completely that not even the Archmages can find them. Captain E. F. Regalio How little you know, mate. How little that you know. <laughs> well, you say that. I say that, but, um, 
and shut the door and let him get back to bed, you guys. I say that, but, you know, he's cottoned on to the fact that people have been hiding them. Ooh, spooky stairs, ooh! Um, you know, but he, he's cottoned on to the fact at least that someone's been hiding the talismans. Which, of course, the keepers did. Um, he doesn't, of course, know that it's the keepers. Okay, good viewer. What we're going to do now is we're going to head to the water tower, which uh, we know to be flooded. As we found out last time, good viewer, the, each of the four elemental towers holds the key to another one. Um, and we also know that the fire mages in the fire tower hold the treasure key, the uh, the key to the the, uh, the the treasure room in the central tower. Just go over and take Omid out over here. Can you go, Omid? And Aryan, you can go down as well. There we go. Okay. Dump the bodies there. Um, yes. So, we know that the special treasure uh, is kept within the central keep in the in the treasure room in the central keep so that's where we need to get to and to do that weird heads again uh, we need to get into the fire tower so we need to find the fire key which is presumably hidden in one of the other towers so crickets I do love crickets I know it's a um, I know it's like a one of the most cliched sound effects out there. You know, it's it's sort of the the Wilhelm scream of um, uh, of like night sound effects. You know, that same cricket sound effect. But I know it's cliched and everyone uses it. But I love that sound effect. You know, I think it's just like I'm always like looking to find it because I I just like it as a sound effect. It's very atmospheric. You, I mean, it's overused, but in the case of that one, I don't think it matters. You know, whenever I hear a, a Wilhelm scream, I'm like, oh, that's a Wilhelm scream. But, um, YouTube it if you don't know what it is, good viewer. Um, it's, um, it's basically just a stock screaming sound effect. <coughs> Down you go, mate. Uh, that's used everywhere. It's used in Star Wars, like, multiple times. It's when, it's in the first... Star it's in the first Star Wars film when Luke when Luke and Leia are on the Death Star and they're trapped um above that above that that sort of gorge and the stormtroopers are firing down upon them. Luke then shoots a panel good view there. We will come back to this later. Uh, Luke then shoots one of the stormtroopers and the stormtrooper reveals and goes, Ah oh! I can't can't do it, but you know, that is the Wilhelm scream. Um which if you, it's like used in Indiana Jones, it's used in just like every film like from when it was from the 50s to the modern times, you know, it's, it's used so often um, to the point that it's become sort of a meme and a joke really. Um, interesting little bit of film trivia for you. Now this is a cool little effect, it's sort of a force field that the majors have put up. And I remember the, the, the mages said that uh, it's, uh, we'll keep the water tower unlocked because no one could possibly get in there. Only the water mages can survive this water. What are you talking about, you muppets? Any fool could swim up here and grab this, the earth key. I, li uh, I, I like the towers, could you, the way they're designed, because they're all designed in uh, a very similar manner. Like, for example, they all have a room in them. They all have that same lobby, which then leads up those stairs into this sort of into like past this door and into a room not necessarily filled with water but into that sort of room well that was easy good viewer uh, that's the earth key from the water tower um, by far and away the easiest of the four elemental towers by far and away the easiest so Heading to the Earth Tower next, good viewer. Ooh, hello, Bob. Careful. You see nothing. Look over there. 
Go on, look over there. Good man. Good. Do, 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 do. And through a door. Hmm. Oh, I'd forgotten this was here. Ooh. Silver coins. Many silver coins. I like silver coins. Ah, the life of a thief. Ooh. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> Do, 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 and I believe this is the area of the Earth Tower. Did I just hear something? You never can tell with these hedge mazes. There, see? Got it right that time, good viewer. Hedge mazes. Not hedge mages, hedge mazes. <laughs> and I managed to dodge around the hedge mazes and get to the hedge mages. Hedge mazes, hedge mages, hedge mazes, hedge mazes, hedge mages, hedge mazes. Phew, I think I've just invented a new tongue twister, good viewer. Many an enemy has an enemy an enemy, but the enemy's enemy is another an enemy. I've tor tormented many people many a time with that one. It's a quite a common actor warm-up thing. You get, you do various tongue twisters to warm up the mouth and the tongue and the movement of it all. And I can do the anemone one, which it's tricky, but because I've done it so much I know how to do it. Uh, no wait, that's the Earth Tower, of course. Um, but other ones, like I learned, what was the one I learned recently? Uh, quick Cricket Crickets Critics. Quick Critic cr ha. Quick Cricket Critics. Quick Cricket Clagen. Cr See? <laughs> I, can't, I can't do that one yet. I haven't mastered that one. That's a, that's a rather a nasty one. Um, good. Right. Okay, good viewer. And this is the Earth Tower. You can see here there's this little symbol uh, uh, here where I'm pointing to with my sword. Um, there. Um, on the wall represents that that is the Earth Tower. Uh, so, good viewer, we will go there next time because climbing up this thing is going to be a hell of a lot more tricky than climbing up the water tower, so we'll leave that for next time. It does of course mean that I'm probably going to end up doing the earth, water, the earth, air and fire towers all in one go. Oh well, we'll see. But anyway, we'll leave that for next time. Uh, apologies again for the lack of updating your viewer, I will attempt to rectify this as much as I possibly can. Uh, yes. So again, apologies for that. Hopefully, uh, you will forgive me. <laughs> um, yes, and that's all I have to say. Uh, actually, just another thought that's come to my head. Diablo 3, Mists of Pandaria. Yes, I'm a WoW player, and yes, I'm excited for Mists of Pandaria. Screw what the trolls say, I think it looks good. You can complain and whine about vanilla and TBC all you like, it's not coming back. Anyway, um, my views on WoW trolls aside, that's a topic for a whole nother time, good viewer, and I probably opened a can of worms by just by saying that anyway. So, I will see you for the next episode where we will climb the Earth Tower. <laughs> Speaking of WoW, I've just thought of a good title for the next episode. Anyway, good viewer, I ramble for a change. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been the Skyrider. Farewell until we meet again.